The film opens in Port-au-Prince, where a photographer, named Victor Fielding, is taking pictures, while on vacation with his pregnant wife Seren. She meets with a voodoo priestess, who performs a ritual, to give blessings to Seren's child. The city then experiences an earthquake. Seren tries to escape her building, but is terribly wounded under falling debris, before Victor finds her. Before she loses consciousness, she asks Victor to protect their child. At the hospital, Victor is told by the doctors, that attempts to save Seren, may possibly kill the baby. Now he is forced to choose, who to save. Thirteen years later, Victor lives in Georgia, with his daughter Angela, who keeps photographs of her mother. Victor has lost his faith in God, as a result of losing Seren. On the way to school, Victor chastises Angela for wearing a scarf, that belonged to her mother. She goes to school with her friend Catherine. During class, they make plans with another classmate, named Ishana, to go out into the woods after school, but it ends up just being Angela and Catherine. Meanwhile, Victor is at his job, where he is taking photographs for a family. He begins to see weird images, like the child crying, and the family's pictures appearing distorted on his laptop. Victor calls Catherine's home, after Angela had told him that, she was going to study there, but Catherine's mom Miranda, says that, the girls were going to Deshanna's house. They contact Deshanna's mother, and find out that, the girls were planning on going into the woods. Victor joins Miranda and Catherine's father Tony, as they venture into the woods, where they come across an area, where they find the girls' backpacks, and Victor finds Angela's shoes in the water. The parents then contact authorities, who begin to search for the girls. During the time searching for the girls, Victor is visited by concerned neighbors, who try to offer help, but he rejects them. While visiting a shelter, another man, makes a crass comment toward Victor, regarding Angela's whereabouts, causing him to flip a table, and nearly start a fight. A young man and his father, end up finding Angela and Catherine, hiding in their barn cellar, and the girls are taken to the hospital. Their feet are red and blistered, and their skin appears scratched up. Their behavior also seems disoriented. Later, Victor brings Angela home, where she tells him that, she and the other girls, played a game in the woods, where they tried to contact Seren's spirit, leading to them falling into the hole, and getting lost. Angela starts to exhibit strange behavior, such as, talking to an unseen entity, and messing with the lights. When Victor tries to draw a bath for her, the water turns black, and Angela appears to have ripped off a toenail. Victor goes looking for her, and Angela then tries to, wrap Seren's scarf around his face. Victor then takes Angela back to the hospital. Now Miranda and Tony, bring Catherine and her younger siblings, to their Baptist church. While the pastor gives thanks to God, for Catherine's return, she looks haggard and worn out. She walks out, and then returns, while the congregation does their communion, while covered in blood, and she begins to repeatedly yell out, the body and the blood, until her parents come to subdue her. Miranda and Tony end up keeping her bedridden at home. In Angela's room, her nurse Anne, checks in on her, and Angela begins speaking to her about her past, along with the name of a child, before Angela begins bleeding profusely from below. Anne goes to Victor's home, and tells her that, she used to be practicing to become a nun, until she got pregnant out of wedlock, and had the baby aborted, something that, she never told anyone else, but she heard it from Angela. Anne gives Victor a book from Chris McNeil, who documented her experience, after her daughter Regan was possessed. Victor reads Chris's book, and watches interviews with her, before seeking her out personally. He finds her at her home, where she lives alone, after stating that, Regan cut off contact with her, after she wrote her book. Victor explains his situation to Chris, who has spent the last few decades of her life, studying other religions' methods of exorcism. Victor brings Chris to the hospital to see Angela. Chris believes, it is the same demon, that possessed Regan, especially since the possessed, Angela tells Chris that, Regan is waiting for her in hell. They then go to Catherine's home, where Chris meets the girl, and also hears the same tauntings about Regan. When she gets too close, in attempting to expel the demon from Catherine's body, the possessed Catherine grabs a cross, and gouges out Chris's eyes, blinding her. She is rushed to the hospital, with Victor apologizing for what happened to her, but Chris doesn't appear to regret trying to help. After Chris is hospitalized, and speaks to a friend, called Father Maddox, who then, tries to get approval from the Catholic Church, to perform an exorcism. Catherine's parents turn to their own friend and pastor, whose name is Don Rivans. Meanwhile, Victor visits Seren's grave, and finds a hoodoo practitioner, named Dr. Beehive, so he enlists her help as well. Joining them is also a man, who is Stuart, 
a Pentecostal preacher. Maddox is told that, the church did not approve the exorcism, due to the possibility of someone getting killed. Now, Victor, Miranda, and Tony, gather the group, as they bring Angela and Catherine together, in the same house, binding them to chairs, that are nailed to the floor, while drawing a ring around them, they begin to attempt a ritual, to exorcise the girls themselves. During the ritual, the demon, called as Lamashtu, speaks through Angela, revealing that, Victor had originally chosen to save Seren, instead of Angela, and Angela's real voice comes out, to yell at her dad for that decision. Lamashtu then states that, one girl will live, and the other will die, with the parents being forced to choose, who survives, and who doesn't. Maddox then returns after basically, saying, screw it, to the church, and he starts to perform his own exorcism. The demon then makes the girl's head spin, and it somehow causes Maddox's own head, to twist 180 degrees, before he collapses dead. Victor then begins trying to reach out to Angela, apologizing for his choice, and even, using Seren's scarf, to get the real Angela to come out. Tony then blurts out that, he chooses Catherine to be saved, and Angela's body floats upward, as she regurgitates an acidic bile into the ceiling, before collapsing, her heart rate flatlining. As Victor holds his daughter, and weeps, Catherine appears alive for a second, before her head goes limp. Her spirit appears in the same place, where the girls ended up in the woods, and Lamashta drags Catherine's spirit to hell, because the chosen one is the one, to chosen to die. Angela wakes up, while Miranda and Tony are left, weeping over Catherine's body. Sometime later, Angela returns to her normal life, and has a better relationship with Victor. Miranda and Tony are left mourning Catherine. As Victor visits Seren's grave once more, and gives a statement to the police, where she reaffirms her faith. Finally, Chris hears, someone visiting her at the hospital. It's Regan, coming to reunite with her mother. And in the end it was a happy ending. Now friends, I'm signing off, hope you enjoyed this recap, don't worry, I'll be back with another good recap, but till then, let me take some rest, goodbye.